What you see behind me are examples of the ultra-cool freezers um, that have been described as essential to the COVID vaccine distribution model. Um, these freezers are capable of going down to negative 86 degrees Celsius. And for reference, that would be equivalent to 122 degrees below zero if we were looking at it in degrees Fahrenheit. I think aspects of these freezers that are unique is that outside of the large outer door, they also have smaller inner doors. Um, both are insulated and these are thicker insulation than you might find in your residential freezers. And that's all around maintaining those ultra cool temperatures. Also, their compressors and circuits are designed in such a way that they cool not only the chamber, but the critical compressor components all around minimizing heat generation. I have been told that uh, on average at the South Pole during the middle of winter is around negative 50 degrees Celsius. And so the, the Pfizer vaccine will be stored at negative 70 degrees Celsius, so quite a bit colder than the South Pole in the middle of winter. One aspect of, of these freezers and the vaccine in general are temperature control. And so what you notice on the doors is temperature monitoring that's built into the freezer itself. In addition to that, we will have wireless temperature monitors that communicate over Wi-Fi for continuous 24 seven temperature monitoring. A third redundancy is a data logger that is housed within the unit itself. And so if for whatever reason something happened with the alerting on the unit or the continuous 24 seven monitoring that we have in place, we will also have a data logger within the unit so that we can validate the temperatures that were maintained uh, during that time.